Uh, uh, it, it is extremely worrisome. Uh, uh, I mean, that uh, we are increasingly, it was in that area, increasingly the military is involved in affairs of our democracy. Should it be that way? Well, first, I, I think, uh, again, sometimes when these arguments go back and forth, you get lost in the maze. The president did not say he issued a directives to the military. He said he issued directives to the security agencies. The chief of army staff subsequently had a meeting with the military, and he said we should be proactive in the course of these elections they because, of course, they are a part. They are not unconnected. Me, they are a part of the military apparatus. They are part of the security agencies. Yes, we agree. Yeah, we agree. Now here's the point: there is nothing on the record that the president had said that the military be deployed for elections. No. In 2015... But the military will be deployed for the elections. Yes, they will be. But in 2015, they were deployed as backup. They are not deployed as active members in the course of the elections. That is how it has been for subsequent elections up till this time. So it is not that the, the president had already ordered that the military is going to participate in the elections. It is that the, the president has said he's briefed all security agencies to including play all of the their military. roles, yeah. including their military, yes. to play their roles. Mm -hmm. And their roles will be as at the time that it arises. For instance, say elections are going on, say, in Borno, and then the security apparatus then that are the main players, the Civil Defense Corps, the Nigerian police, are there. And then there is an attack by Boko Haram. You say, oh, no, military don't come because you are not deployed. No. It, their role is secondary at all of the times that we have seen elections since 2015. Mm -hmm. And we shouldn't take it out of context that no military are coming. Because again, there is no elections where you have a military man standing by the polling booth or regulating how people were to queue or something. There is no such election. Well, and I, there has I, not been any such directives I, up till this moment. I think a post-assessment would definitely be in order. A post-assessment of security, a, the this role of security role. agencies would definitely be in order. And I think it would be very important to also x-ray the role of the military in particular, yes. uh, because the president says security agencies. He wasn't, he wasn't specific. But the military seemed to be, you know, yeah. very personal. I've taken this very personally. Yes. In the sense, in just a moment, in the sense that, first of all, there has been a briefing, and I think, uh, you know, the, the, the chief of army staff reiterated that they are going to obey. The president is the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. They're going to obey the words, the orders of the chief of the armed forces. Isn't that also... I should think, Mark, whether we should be very concerned yes. if the military say they are not going to obey the president's directive. We should be concerned yeah. if they say, no, we are not going to obey the president's directives. Because as the commander-in-chief, yes. he is entitled to give lawful directives. And until and unless we come to conclusion that the directives is given, that there should be no breach of the electoral process, is unlawful. Some, As some at people that will say, time, what we have found is, is some have been a little more diplomatic. They have mm. said, oh yes, we will obey the words of the chief of the armed forces within the constitution. Yes. Of course. Which is what a lot of people thought was missing from the president's words. I, I think uh, their thoughts is unfounded. I, I, you, don't, you don't agree that, no, you know, do agree that, that hard line posture should have been you know, protected or couched within or softened with the protection of the constitution? I just, I just want to confirm, at what point now in our history, because yes. 20 years is very long, should we have an election where there will be no concern about ballot box matching? Because we've done this for too long that I think it is important that at these elections we send the message clearly that it is the vote that will count and not anything otherwise. Is ballot so box that snatching we don't the become... greatest threat to election, to, to, to the credibility of elections in Nigeria? Because uh, uh, some people will tell you that it would seem mm. that now, at the polling units, people are well behaved. Yeah, the problems that people seem to be having right now is at the collation. Uh, the, 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 the rampancy of ballot box snatching seems to be at the very minimum. They seem to have vote buying as a problem mm -hmm. and collation going on well into the night and into the morning as another issue. Those seem to be the biggest ones, not ballot box snatching. Well, you see, uh, whereas vote buying, collation process, okay, let's take 
collation process is procedural challenge, which again, all elections must have collation. Mm -hmm. So we are now saying, oh, our collation process has a problem because it goes a long time, even over days. Some people believe that's where the fraud is usually committed. Yeah. Anyway, yes, people are entitled to their opinion. You and don't I agree think, with uh, them? I, I, I do not think so. Okay. Now, but the one that sends fear to the minds of people is the talk coming to invade the polling unit to take ballot boxes. Now, for vote buying, again, when we were reviewing the Oshun elections and the Ekiti elections, we said the law enforcement agencies seemed to close their eyes to vote buying. Mm. And they were interested in making sure that uh, nobody snatches ballot boxes and mm. all of that. We now say, okay, they should be mandated to abide all the laws. So if vote buying is a breach, and it is a breach, then those buying votes should be arrested. So I just want to ask you quickly, mm. and I know that this, we don't have enough time now, we're mm. almost out of time. Mm. Does the military need to obey every order given by the president? The military has to obey all lawful orders given by the You've president. You've qualified it, you say lawful mm. orders. Definitely. In other words, if the orders are not lawful... Mm. They don't have obligation to abide. Okay. Is that, is that where you stand as well? Exactly, because the order given by, uh, by the president, which the military has taken it upon themselves, to me is enough. Because for you to deploy military uh, in an election, you need the approval of the National Assembly. And this hasn't been gotten. So it's an enough order. If the military go out to perpetrate any crime or whatever, or any security officer goes out to gun people down or whatever, by mere virtue of this order, I think maybe in future such a person will be brought to book. I take it you don't agree with him that the order of the president is unlawful. I don't agree it's unlawful. But are you, are you going to be going out to vote yeah, on I will Saturday? Go out and will, will you will, be voting in yes. spite of the fact that the I, military I will, will be there? Will, in fact, I will be more have to comfortable if I see the military there <laughs> and I see I will the be police so uncomfortable there. If I see the military people there. So <laughs> uncomfortable. You'll be uncomfortable, <laughs> but you will come out to vote anyway. I will still, I will still pay, uh, try to come out. <laughs> Oh, gentlemen, we have to thank you both for coming on Sunrise Daily. Um, Abdul Mohammed is a lecturer, Department of Private Law, Faculty of Law at the Amadou Bello University in Zaria. And we've also had Obioma Ezewobodo, who is a legal practitioner and human rights activist who's also authored books on military law and court martial. They will both be going out to vote. So whether or not we're having this conversation on military presence, please go out to vote. Sunrise Daily continues in a moment. Please stay with us.